<laughs> My name is John Bush. I'm from Austin, Texas. Uh, I've been involved with the Liberty slash Truth Movement uh, for almost a decade now, and I've really learned a lot in that 10 years, and I've really evolved quite a bit. And today I wanted to talk with you guys about some strategies on how we can create a, a wholly free society. So I'm going to talk about a lot of different dichotomies today. Uh, one of them is monopoly versus competition. And I think at the root of all the evils and the biggest inhibitions for our individual liberty is that monopoly power that exists. One of the monopolies that I hate the most is the monopoly that police departments enjoy on the provision of defense. Check out Houston Police Department. They beat the living crap out of the Houston citizens. It's absolutely sad. I see it on YouTube all the time. HPD is terrible. I guarantee if you opened up Houston Police Department to competition, and if you didn't force Houston residents to pay for the Houston Police Department, they would go out of business. There would be competing services. Either people would go ahead and start you know, open carrying firearms, even though that's unlawful here in Texas. How's that for Texas freedom, the great independent state of Texas? Yeah. Or people would use the money that they're not having stolen from them to pay for the corrupt Houston Police Department, and they would use that money to pay for a private defense agency. Right? So that's a, an instance of a monopoly that harms our ability to live as free people. So the question is, how do we deal with these monopolies, which I see as an enemy of liberty? Monopolies take away your ability to choose. Absent a monopoly, people would be, oh, you know, I don't like Houston Police Department. They beat my cousin last week. I don't think I'm going to give them my money anymore. I'm going to go with another, with another choice. So I think the best way to eliminate monopolies is through competition. That's essentially what agorism is all about. Ag agorism is a libertarian strategy that was uh, enumerated by a guy named Samuel Edward Konkin in the mid-80s. And essentially what agorism calls for is not competing within the state, but competing with the state. It, it calls for the creation of parallel institutions that are based on mutually beneficial voluntary associations, contracts, and relationships, not based on force, monopoly, power, and forcing people to do things at the barrel of a gun. And whenever you have an internal conflict amongst yourselves, please, I beg you, do not go to the police, do not go to the justice system, but arbitrate it amongst yourselves. Another thing that is absolutely important and is probably the riskiest of all is to create competing institutions of defense. This can come in multiple forms, from a neighborhood watch, to a militia group, or to uh, something that we started in Central Texas, which is called Lone Star Smart. It's the Sovereign Mutual Aid Response Team. It's essentially a mutual aid society where we've all committed to help each other out. And just recently we launched the Lone Star Liberty Bell, which is a phone number you call 512-34-UNITE. If you're ever pulled over by the police, if you ever see a checkpoint, if you ever see a speed trap, if you need help moving out of your house, if you're in need of any type of mutual aid, you call this number, you leave a short message, and then that message is then sent out to everybody that subscribed on the network. We don't need Houston Police Department. We just need to be armed. We need to have strong communities that are willing to take care of each other. We don't need the government to provide the provision of justice either because it's never been about providing justice. It's always been about securing and protecting the privileged power. If you decide that you don't want to pay your income taxes anymore, an armed man is going to show up and take you away. If you get busted for smoking a little grass being a peaceful person, an armed man is going to show up and toss you in a cage. That's very very scary and fearful. That's why community is absolutely necessary if we are to find freedom in our lifetime. And in order to overcome the fear, I offer you these three points. There's strength in numbers, there's strength in unity, and there's strength in truth. And we have all three of those things on our side. So all we need to do is stand up and they'll never be able to put us down. Thank you. So you want a revolution? Well, it's only going to be a matter of time before the government turns into the same corrupt tyranny that it always has been. That's why I'm not for revolution. I'm for peaceful evolution, which means we all ought to evolve beyond the need, the supposed need, for a monopoly state in order to provide the various services. And then I think the biggest monopoly that we face as Americans is the monopoly on the provision of money that the Federal Reserve enjoys. What I recommend is that we end the Fed ourselves yeah. Yeah. by stopping the use of Federal Reserve notes.